With the passage of Proposition 19, homeowners and home buyers across California will have a lot more choices. I'm David Stark, Public Affairs Director for the Bay East Association of Realtors, and in this Bay East Buzz, we'll give you a preview of what Prop 19 means to you and your clients. Proposition 19 allows certain homeowners to transfer the taxable value of their current primary residence to another primary residence anywhere in California. Now we know you and your clients have a lot of questions about Prop 19. And tax issues are like a medical checkup. They're very personal and everyone is different. You and your clients should always check with a tax professional about how Prop 19 may impact your tax situation. With that in mind, here are a few Prop 19 highlights. First, Prop 19 isn't the first example of tax portability in California. Proposition 60 and 90, which are already state law, do allow homeowners to transfer their property tax basis to homes within the same county or between a limited number of certain counties in California. Prop 19 will replace, and significantly expand, the Prop 60 and 90 tax portability provisions. So, who can use the new Prop 19 tax portability? Homeowners who are age 55 or older, or homeowners who lost their primary residence due to wildfire or natural disaster, or homeowners who are severely disabled. How does it work? An eligible homeowner can transfer the property tax basis of their current primary residence to another primary residence anywhere in California. Anywhere? Yes, not just those Prop 60 and 90 counties, but anywhere in California. Any home? Yes, any home. If the new primary residence is of greater value than the current primary residence, the tax basis is adjusted using a formula based on the differences in the sales prices of the two properties. An eligible homeowner can use this tax portability up to three times. When can eligible homeowners start using the tax portability? April 1st, 2021. Now, if a homeowner wishes to obtain the tax benefits of Proposition 19 for a transaction that closes prior to April 1st, 2021, whether it is buying or selling a property, please seek the advice of a qualified California real estate attorney or tax advisor. Other parts of Proposition 19, such as tax reassessment of some properties that are transferred between family members, take effect earlier in 2021. Heads up, there is some vague language in Prop 19 and there's a good chance cleanup legislation will be coming during 2021. Will it make major changes to Prop 19? No, it will just make it easier to understand. There's a lot more information in the California Association of Realtors Q&A about Proposition 19. Check it out at www.car.org. You'll need to log into the website to access the Q&A. And it's for reference only. Again, please seek the advice of a tax professional if you have questions about how the Proposition 19 provisions may apply to your tax situation.